The purpose of the bill which was signed by Biden in March is to help families get by and to bring the U.S. economy back to health after COVID. Checks worth up to $300 per child are being sent to households across the country this month and families will receive another five payments before the end of 2021. But here are three reasons why opting out of the program could be a good idea. You should opt out if you would rather receive a large payment next year instead of seven smaller payments spanning 2021 and 2022, CNET reports. This could be worthwhile for families saving up for a big expense or for those who have budgeted the cash to pay off an outstanding debt. Overpayment concerns. Also, if you know the household's tax situation is set to change this year, and you don't want to deal with updating the information in the IRS portal, it might be best to opt out. You could also choose to opt out if you are concerned the IRS might send you an overpayment based on old tax information from last year or 2019 and you don't want to worry about paying any of the money back next year. This might be the case if your household income goes up as you've got a new job or you have returned to work. It could also affect you if a dependent you previously claimed is aging out of an age bracket before the end of this year. An expert has already warned families should opt out of monthly child tax credit payments as households may have to pay some of the money back. Norman Golden of Golden Tax told ABC7, if you know now that your income is going to be higher in 2021 and you don't want to have a surprise next year when you file your return and have to pay it back, you may want to consider opting out and just waiting for the credit. Families who choose to decline this year's child tax credit checks will still receive the same amount of money in the end, but they are just delaying the payments. If you want to opt out of the child tax credit payments, you must do it by August 2nd for the August 13th payment.